so today we are going to see about the function definition the last part we had seen about the modules and we are continuing the function definition and the use the function is nothing but a block of code that can be executed when it is called when you are going to execute that block of statement on that time you are going to call if you are going to use that one that one call as a function the function begins with the keyword def it going to call by and give word def and followed by the function name and its parenthesis any input parameter or argument should be placed within the para parameters the cloud block with every function start with the colon it had to start with the colon and return expression should be there either it should be passing back or to the colon it should be there a written with no arguments is the same as a written one for example is the syntax you are going to define first the function name and then the parameters you are going to send it and it's followed by the semicolon and you are going to call the function suit name and also you are going to return the expression what is the return expression you are going to give you can able to provide any expression in the return or simply you can provide the return the value will be returned automatically this is the way we have to define our function the function should be used in all the modules without the function the module will not be executed so the modules and the functions are interconnected and we should use it everywhere along with the module so it why the use of this function you are going to for example you are going to create a program for a calculator so in the calculator you are going to create a, a module for each and every function like for addition subtraction multiplication division like that for every key you are going to create a program for it and every time separate separately we can't able to call the program so once the value will be given depending upon the user input you are going to call the function so what i'm going to do means i'm going to provide i'm going to get the input from the user then from that input variables what is the function they have to make it if it's an addition i'm going to call the addition code that is an addition module then subtraction subtraction module division division module like that i can able to work it so what it will happen means it will makes the program to be classified and also it will make the problems so complex complex smaller and the modularity of the program will be increased this is the way the function can be used so the next one it's about the flow of execution when i'm going to execute the function what are the things will be happen the execution always begins at the first statement of the program so whenever i'm going to make any program the first statement will be executed and the statements are executed one at a time so in the python it will be an in print pattern mode so it will execute only one at a time during the function call the arguments are assigned to the normal parameters so the whatever the values you are giving in the function call it will be added so these are the different ways of function module so whenever you are going to make it whenever you are going to calling the function the corresponding function value will be there and be executed totally so which function you are going to calling that will be calling function and the function which to be called is called as a called function thank you